Good day, mites. Today we're gonna to be going over my propagation method from some plants I found at Home Depot. So when picking plants, I made sure I looked for ones that not only were small enough to fit inside the jars and terrariums that I would be using, but does well in high humidity environments. For instance, this fern. Now, my propagation method, I first like to split up the plants and dip them into water just to wash off any excess that may be on the roots. With ferns, this is a little difficult because um, there's no even or particular way to tell where exactly the different plants are. Now, although it is difficult to decipher, you know, the between one plant and the next with ferns, they are very easy to propagate. So you kind of just have to rip them apart. One thing I do is uh, I make sure I save all the dirt because uh, I will be reusing it, whether it be repotting or saving it for later. Most of the plants I split from each other did go inside a propagation box that you saw in the beginning of the video and the rest went inside the large tray of one that you know was lacking a little bit the second plant i found was a ivy and they these zones split up into a lot each leaf system has its own roots because it is a ground cover based plant so if you're not careful when you do replant this here if you're planning on propagating it it will take over you know wherever it is so this one that requires more maintenance than say the fern which goes slower in comparison Again, I take them apart one by one, by hand, and then dip them in the water. You know, I like to sit them in the water until I'm done as well. The rocks you see on the right, I didn't end up using them today because I didn't build any new terrariums, but you'll see them in future videos as far as builds go. Stay tuned for more. Oh, it's one of my favorite plants right here. It's a Rex begonia. You know, they don't all look like this. Well, I was lucky enough to find them with about four or five different plants in there. I don't remember exactly how many. But they're just some of the prettiest plants around, in my opinion. And they go well in any terrarium. I make sure to try to knock off as much dirt as I can so I can see where the different plants start and stop. Yeah, I had to take a moment to pause because there's just so many of them. I mean, it's truly ridiculous. But it's what I was looking for when I went to Home Depot. When? Today? When? You didn't say nothing. You know, most of these plants were also on sale because it's coming up on the end of the growing season. It's about to be cold. So, you know, they stayed at Home Depot. They're just going to die. But, hey, I'll take that discount. You know what I mean? It can be a bit tedious at times, but as you can see, definitely worth it. Look at these What's that? Four for the price of one? I'll take it. This is me trying to knock off the excess dirt. I sweat this up a little, so uh, you all wouldn't have to be just looking at my arm, you know? <laughs> After I feel like a adequate amount is shaken off, and it's placed in the water. I have the propagation box to my left, so 
from time to time, you'll see me bending over to put them in there with, you know, with the Pac-Man frog. <laughs> so, he calls that his home. But. And up next, another ground cover plant. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about how fast this plant may grow, but you know, I saw the the color on these leaves. I couldn't help myself. They also split into quite a a number of plants. And last but not least, this one I uh. I thought it may have been two plants, but when I pulled it out the pot, the root ball is just it's entirely too thick. So I just, the whole thing went inside my uh, large terrarium. You'll be getting a video of that soon enough. I just have to let all the plants uh, settle in. They don't look too good right now, considering I just transplanted them from the shock. Will you all see my propagation method and the plants I begin with? Please like and subscribe for more. Thank you.